you ever heard the story of the great ballerina who loved ballet so much that when given the choice, she actually chose death rather than give up dancing. And I'm talking literally, not theoretically or metaphorically. It's none other than the great ballerina Anna Pavlova. But before I tell you about her death, let's talk just a little bit about her life. The early part of her career could be a memoir in and of itself. However, her most important contributions came a little bit later. She was originally from St. Petersburg in the Imperial Theater, where she studied under dance legends such as Enrico Cicchetti himself, and where she rose to the rank of prima ballerina. And then she danced briefly for Sergei Diaghilev and the Ballet Russe, where she famously rejected premiering the role of the Firebird because she couldn't stand Stravinsky's music. Her most important work came when she started her own company and they toured the entire world doing mostly abridged versions of the classics and solos that had been created for her. But she took ballet to places where it had really never been seen before, in different places in South America and in Asia and in the US. And on these tours, there were several people who were inspired to start their own careers in dance, including Frederick Ashton, the great choreographer, one of the greatest to ever live, Ruth Page, and dancers like Alicia Markova, among others. And the dance that she's most well known for is shown behind me with Natalia Asapova. It's called Dying Swan. It's about a three and a half minute solo. The music's from Carnival of the Animals. It has nothing to do with the ballet Swan Lake. They're totally separate. So what about this dramatic death? Well, while on tour in The Hague, she got sick and was told she had a pneumonia and would need to have an operation. But after having this operation, she wouldn't be able to dance again. So she said, if I can't dance, I'd rather not be alive. And she passed away just 20 days shy of her 50th birthday from pleurisy. And it is said that on her deathbed, her last words were, get my swan costume ready. And while her career and life and death are a great story, it's really her influence that we're still living with. The people that she inspired and the way she spread the idea and the dream and the glamour of ballet to thousands of people, we are still living with her influence.